Father God, we come to you this morning just loving on you, just to praise your holy name, Father God, because you are good. You're good all the time, Father God. Father, you're so good to us. You cover us from the head to the feet, Father God. You not only cover us, but you cover everyone that's attached to us, Father God. Father, we come to you this morning lifting up your name to say hallelujah to you, Father, to give you glory, to give you honor, to give you praise, because you are our God. You are he who keeps us. You are he who clothes us. You are he who care for us, Father God. Just as you care for the birds of the air and the lily of the fields, we have no worries, Father God, because we're in your hands also, Father God. We come this morning, Father God, asking you, Lord, please, Lord, strengthen all of us, not just us, but strengthen the leaders of the world, Father God. Touch the government like never before, Father God. Father, tear down every demonic activity, every demonic spirit, every demonic act of the government, Father God. Father, let those who have no control sit down somewhere. And Father, you raise up those that you have placed into office to continue to govern the world here on earth while you govern the world from heaven, Father God. Father, I pray right now, I pray right now that you give us the heart to put up with others, Father God, as we try and get ourselves closer to you, Father God, as we learn more of you, Father God. Father, I pray right now that we would love on others, Father God, as you love on us. Father, all of us were in some type of distress stress and disorder when you called us closer to you. You said, come and lay in my breast and I will give you rest, Father God. Father, so give us patience. Give us the, the knowledge, the wisdom on how to draw those closer to you for you, Father God. Father, I thank you for your way not being my way, Father God, because my way is so jacked up. I don't see what you see, Father God. You see the beginning, the middle, and the end. I only see what's in front of me here on earth. I don't see what's in the second heaven. I don't see what you have planned for me. I don't see and know what your uh, knowledge is for me, Father God. So I thank you. I thank you for bringing each of us to the point to where we just say, have mercy, Lord because we are a wretch undone. So have mercy, Lord. Lord, continue to grow us up in you. That's where we need to be, God. Father, I pray right now that uh, we will forgive others as you forgive us, Father God, because forgiveness is the key to getting closer to you, Father. There are so many things that we did not do that we should have done, Father. Forgive us. There are so many things that we did that we should not, Father, forgive us, Father. Father, I thank you for allowing us to uh, be a blessing to others, uh, not just in the church, but just in the land, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for giving us somebody to encourage us, Father God. Father, we all need encouragement at some point. I thank you, Lord. I give you the honor. I give you the praise. I ask, Father God, for your mercy continually, Father God. Father, I ask that you go about and touch every person that has been touched by violence in some kind of way. Father, that includes the person that commits the violence as well as the person that goes under the hammer of the violence, Father God. I pray for their strength in you. I pray for their health, their healing, Father God. There are so many people just, just leaving the earth all kinds of ways, not just from sickness and disease, but from someone else's hand, Father God. But you knew it would happen before it even happened, Father God, because you are all knowing, Father. So, Father, I come to you asking for mercy for everyone that's involved with some type of violence, Father God. Be a mind regulator to those who just simply snap for whatever reason, Father God. 
Touch their man as you did the man in the mountains, Father God, that they would man would come back to them the way that you've create created it to be, God. God, we know that according to us, our minds are okay. But God, only you know at what point we'll break. Only you know, Father God, at what point that we'll try to reach out and do harm to self and others, Father God. Oh, Father God, stop us from hurting ourselves, Father God. We hurt ourselves mentally and physically and emotionally, Father God. Father, let us love on you. We don't need to find no one here on earth to love. Our assignment is to love on you, God. And we want to do it so wholeheartedly. And we thank you, God. Father God, help us not to hurt ourselves, Father God, mentally. We don't have to worry. We don't have to be anxious, Father. But so often we take on those traits, Father God. Help us not to be jealous of one another, Father God, because you've created us all equally, Father. Father, take away that spirit of suicide. Throw it in the pits of hell, Father God, that each one may live the life that you've designed us to live, Father God. Father, I pray right now, Father God, that you, God, and you alone will govern this earth, Father. You said, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray. Father God, we're praying, we're reaching out to you, Father God. You told us in the book of Jeremiah that you will heal each and every one of us, Father God. So, Father, we stand on that promise that you've given us. Oh, God, we come to you right now just loving and, and, and praising you, God, for being with us all the time, Father God. You don't even have to, Father God. Who else would be with wretches such as us, Father God? As, as, as hard as we try, we'll never come up to your standards, Father God. Father, I pray for the salvation and deliverance for families, Father God. Families have a lot of reasons and a lot of actions and a lot of ways that are not your ways, Father God. The average family is in strife and contention with one another, Father God. And they're that way due to favoritism, Father God, where some parents favored one child over the other, such as Joseph was favored, Father God. Then there's, there's jealousy, Father God, such as Reuben's Father God. And the brothers that were jealous of Joseph, Father God. Some families just have dissension because uh, uh, they are just wayward. They will not adhere to what the parents are trying to teach them, Father God. Father, touch every dysfunctional family there is. Draw the children back to the parents, Father God. You told the parents to train up the child in the way that they should go. And they, when they get older, they shall not depart. But Father, it seems in this day and time that the older children are just as bad as the younger children and the younger children are just as bad as the grown-ups, Father God. The grown-ups trying to be young and the, uh, the young trying to be old, God. But everything happens in each season for a reason according to you, Father God. Father, I pray... Uh, Miss Minnie has asked us to pray for the young ladies and the young men of the world that uh, they come to know you. I pray that they not only come to know you, but they come to develop self-respect. We are such a disrespectful world. Father God, let the young men pull those pants up. Let the young ladies pull those dresses down. Let them uh, wear looser Pants, Father God, there's nothing wrong with a lady wearing pants, but Father, let them look respectable, Father God. And for me personally, God, I pray that you would take every pair of jeans with all them holes off the earth. Father God, I pray that the young ladies and the young men would turn back to the time to where they keep uh, cross their legs when they're sick, that the young man would open the doors for the young lady, bring our land back to the land of morals, Father God. Father, I pray right now, I pray right now that uh, you, Father God, would touch Camille's daughter, Melissa, Father God. Father, she's going through depression and heavy financial burdens. 
Father, when our finances are out of order, we have a problem, Father God. We sit, we contemplate, we worry, we think it over. We sit, we contemplate, we worry, we think it over. And it gets us to nowhere, Father God, because worrying brings about nothing but health issues and strife, Father God. Father, I pray for Melissa right now that she would release the heavy burden of the financial burdens, Father God and that she would not go through depression. Every time she feels herself getting depressed, I pray that she would say, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I praise your name. Oh, Father God, she's your child. Her mother's praying. We're praying, Father God. Regulate her mind. Bring her back to you, God. Oh, Father God, I pray for every family member who is sick for Laurel, Father God. Father, sickness and disease has no place in us, Father God, simply because we are your children. Father, you are the giver of life. According to John 5 and 24, you give us the life that we should live. And that life doesn't include sickness, Father God. You said you would heal our bodies, Father God. That you would cure all our illnesses and diseases, Father God. I pray right now that every person that is sick under the sound of my voice be healed. That they could reach out and touch every family member. And that touch from that to that family member would heal them in the name of Jesus, I pray. I pray right now that, Father God, that you uh, would bring down all strongholds against every person's body, Father God. I pray right now and I lift up to you, Father God, the sicknesses, the diseases, Father God, diabetes, you have no place in our life. Cancer, you have no place in our life. COVID, you have no place in our life. Our lives belong to you, God. And any other sickness, heart problems has no place in our life. Strange muscles don't even have a place in our life, Father God. You are the only only person, the only being to have a place in our life. And I'm asking you to touch, touch as only you can, Father God. I pray for Sheena, Father God. I pray that she has no more falls, Father God. Father, help her to walk steady. Help her to be balanced, Father God. Father, whatever the problem is with her balance, Father God, I pray that you would be in the middle that with the outstretched arms that you stretched out for us already. And every time she wobbles, Father God, I pray that you would take her back to the middle. I pray that you would take her back, Father God. Take her back. Father God, let her stand firm, Father God. Let her stand when she can't do anything else, Father God. But Father, never let her fall again. Father, I pray against broken bones, Father God. I pray against head injuries. I pray, Father God, that you would give her the balance that she needs, Father God. Uh, Father, I pray for Sandra, Father, this morning. I pray that, that the back problems that she's having would, would go away, Father God. Father, tell her the remedy that you have for her to get away from those back problems. From Sometimes we have them because we move wrong, because we lay wrong, because we've done too many strenuous things, Father God. But Father, only you know. Touch her back. Touch her spine. Re loosen those muscles, Father God. Father, I pray for Michelle, Father God, as she goes forth to give your word, Father God, for the next two weeks. I pray, Father God, that the anointing will fall on her so strong, Father God. Let her continue, as she always do, to open her ears to you, Father God, that she continues to listen for you, then, then do what it is that you would have her to do. I pray right now, Father God, that you would give her the message for the next two Sundays that would make you proud, that would glorify you, that will bring people out of their 
uh, second po positions uh, and bring them to a higher glory in you, Father God. I pray for Betty, Father God. I pray that God will free her nephew's mind, Lord, from the turmoil and confusion that he is going through, Father God, and speak peace to him. I pray for mental health all over the land, Father God. So many young people, God, they're young. They're not even 40 yet. So many of them are suffering with mental problems, Father God. And then there's the older people that have been, that have walked the word of the road of life that are suffering from mental issues, Father God. I pray that you would free everyone from any kind of mental issue that they have, Father God. Be it suicide, be it unbalanced, be it, I, I don't know what it is, Father. They call it psychosis. They call it all kinds of names, but God, you know exactly what it is. And I pray against it right now, Father God. I pray that you would bring that young man to speak peace to himself. Peace, Father God. If he doesn't know you, Father God, let him look at his auntie and say, auntie, what do I do to get the peace you got? God, you can do it. You can give everyone what it is that they want and need. Father, just read our hearts and know that we all have prayer requests. And Father, anybody that did not put their prayer requests in the chat, I ask you to uh, read their hearts, Father, and just hold them in the palm of your hands. Oh God, you're such a gracious God. You have grace and mercy on us when we don't deserve it, and we say thank you. Thank you, Father God, that we were even rolled out the bed this morning. Thank you, Father God, for the return of Reverend Yvette. Thank you, Father God, that she has the, the strength to keep going <clears throat> outside, Father God, of all that you have planned for her to do. That she comes back in still fighting just like she was before. Father, I thank you for the Salem Baptist Church of Chicago. Father, as pastor and first lady is on the rest, I pray right now that you would strengthen him, Father God. Whatever ailments are in his body, I pray that you would heal him, Father God. As you gave him his wife, Father God, encourage her doing all of his struggles, Father God. Encourage their children doing all of their parents' struggles, Father God. You said children are a gift to us, Father God. You've gifted them with the children that they need to continue to help uphold them, Father God. Uphold every worker of Salem, every minister, Father God. Father, let every minister, every deacon, every, every leader, Father God, do that it, that you would have them to do. And oh, Father, let me not forget Thank you, July 4th is coming, God. July 4th is coming and we're gonna celebrate like never before. Thank you, Father God, for planning the reopening of the church, Father God. Oh, Father God, let everything be proper. Let there be no germs and diseases to go about to harm anyone, Father God. Let every speaker, every musician, every, every announcer, every, every person behind the scene, Father God, let them be a good health and good cheer. God, we love you. And as we open our mics, we're just going to continue to praise you right now. Hallelujah. Thank thank you, Lord. Lord. We're going to continue to say thank you, Lord. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Bless you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We 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 Oh, 